That's the noise it makes when I periscope. Oh. Hello, good evening. I'm in the car again. This might have to become a regular thing, periscoping from the car. My friend Lanise does a bus stop scope every day while she waits on the kids to get off the bus stop. So maybe I'll have to take that up. We're, uh, I'm with my mom right now and we're waiting to get our nails done. So <laughs> we're killing time talking about real estate. And I, yes, we're working very hard today. But I want y'all to say hello. This is my mom. <laughs> hello. <laughs> And my mom is really awesome because she buys houses too. So I come by this very naturally. Mom and dad have been buying houses. I think they bought the first one um, that I remember when I was in high school. And look, they all say hello. <laughs> hey mom. Um, so they bought the first house that they used as a rental house. Um, <laughs> hey Winnie's mom. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Her name's Kathy. And Kathy with a K. So they bought the first house that they used as a rental that I remember when I was in high school. They had some before then, but that was the first one that I remember like buying, working on it, finding tenants. We had somebody with a, a KCDC voucher, so like a Section 8 voucher, and I remember that was always a disaster trying to collect the tenants portion versus what the county or the state was paying. and. I think that may have been the only property that we've ever done that on because it was such a thing. Um, hey Jason, do you need to pay off a home before you rent it out? You do not have to pay off a home before you rent it out, no. Um, you can buy a house, live in it for a year or two, move off, and then rent it to somebody else. That's totally fine. You just want to make sure that whatever the tenants, the renters pay is more than your uh, mortgage taxes and insurance so more than PITI because they're gonna break a toilet and you're gonna have to pay a plumber so if they're already paying for that you're doing better but um mom and dad had a house that they you want to live in it for two months and charge double for everything I don't know we may need to talk about that separately so you can you can send me an email info at Whitney if you want to send me an email we can talk about that separately um, and anybody, if you have a real estate question, you can email me, info at WhitneyNicely.com. So, um, the first house mom and dad bought, they bought when they got married, and we lived in it. That was the house that I was born in. That's the house that I live in now. I came back, all the way back to the house that they were living in when I was born. And I think we lived in that for, what, three years? Until Tyler was born? Y'all lived, no. lived in it longer than From that. From 79 to 87. Okay, so almost 10 years they lived in this house. And then, you know, our family was growing. We needed a bigger house. They bought another house on the other side of town. But they didn't sell the old house, y'all. You do not have to sell the old house. If a bank will finance you and you can get a mortgage, then keep the old house and rent it. Okay, so you've had that house since what, 79? Yes. Oh, we got people trying to text us. Okay, so since 79, she's had the same house since 79, and you haven't lived in it since 87? Correct. But you've rented it since 87? All your life. Then you moved back when you got out of high school, college. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So when I got out of college, I moved back into it, and now I rent it from my mom. <laughs> so if you'll see here... My brother and I own 12 houses. I own some random pieces of land. My husband and I own apartments. But I live in my mom's rental house <laughs> that she was living in when, you know, she went to the hospital and had me. So you you can rent out the first house. Buy your first house as a couple, move on, get a bigger, better house and rent out the first one. If you do that five times, then you'll have five rental houses or four rental houses, okay? And then, you know, you can go back and buy the first apartments that you lived in. You don't have to sell a house just to move into another house, okay? Keep your credit good. Become an investor since day one, okay? It's a lot easier to buy a house and live in it and get the mortgage and get it paid down and live in it and enjoy it and then start renting it than it is to go out and get an investment loan. So, how many houses do you have now? 
six, I think. And you have commercial property? Lots of, lots of property. <laughs> See? I come by this so honest, y'all. <laughs> Lots of commercial property, industrial properties, you got rental houses, and you just pick them up one at a time, and then by the time you're what, 49? Looking at retirement. <laughs> by the time you're looking at retirement, you've got your retirement portfolio ready. It's waiting on you. Just go for it. But if you wait until you're retiring, you won't have all of that built up. Right, Mom? I'm looking for mailbox money. <laughs> we want mailbox money. How do you get people from tearing them up? Um, tearing them up just happens. How do you get people from tearing up the houses? Check their references. Check their references have, and put your kid the, in it. <laughs> have a termite man go check it once a month and if it's looking bad, tell you. Okay, so you pay the bug man, what, 30 bucks a month? And you don't have to go inspect the property. The bug guy will go inspect the property and he'll kill the bugs. Okay? If you pay him, he will go, he will spray, he will call you and say, Ooh, looks kind of bad in the kitchen. Or, you know, they put a big hole in that door. You might want to go do something. But you do not, I mean, do you go check on your tenants every month? Never. Well, you come over to my house for dinner. Well, that ain't chicken. <laughs> That's a free meal. <laughs> so, or or the so-called bug man. I don't know. I mean, I think it's worth it to pay 30 bucks and have a bug guy go and spray for bugs. Or, you know, 20 bucks or whatever, whatever you can get. And check on it. Now, if you can pay somebody else or not pay your brother-in-law or somebody, but... You know, it's not bad to spray for bugs in these rental houses, guys. I mean, that's a easy write-off. You got to pay for something with this rental income, and I think the bug expense is worth it. What do you think? Absolutely. And then you don't have to go over there, right? Never. <laughs> you got anything else you want to say? Get started. Just get started. Straight from mom's mouth. Get started. Buy some houses. <laughs> All right. If y'all have any questions, we're gonna go in here. Our time's to up to go get our nails done. So, uh, build an inspection within 40 hours of the rental agreement, yes. You're looking at a house right now that's 50 and you want to buy it and rent it out right away, go for it. Yeah, absolutely. Buy it, put a tenant in it. Just make sure that they're covering your uh, PITI, principal interest taxes and insurance. And then a little fluff money. If you have any questions, uh, remember we're getting started on the February group coaching. It's one hour a week with me. I'm only taking five people, and you can sign up, WhitneyNicely.com. And if you have any questions, you can email info at WhitneyNicely.com, and we'll hop on again in the morning. Y'all have a good evening. Bye.